welcome back to Life on the Fringe. Uh, today we're doing a cage cleaning and facelift for Rock Miss Cage. Um, she's on the second floor, which funnily enough is what we are replacing. So this box here um, is pushing it in terms of like structural stability at this point because we've been using it for so long. So we're going to be replacing it with this box. Um, so I'm just going to cut it the same way as I did that. And then, as usual, we'll be changing around some stuff for some environmental stimulation uh, and enrichment. But for the most part, a straightforward cage cleaning. See you when it's done.
Welcome home! Okay, this is one of the most frustrating cage cleanings we've ever done. Um, <laughs> but it turned out really nice. So we replaced the uh, cardboard. Um, we have two layers of cardboard, which I really recommend if you're going to do a cardboard box top. Um, especially if you're trying to get it to fit the right dimensions. Just because then you can replace the top layer and that's what really helped us preserve the other box for as long as possible. Um, so up here we've got a sand bath, um, some ceramic hide, uh, her water, a wheel, and a bulb. Um, <laughs> so uh, the rest of the cage, um, aside from changing out the sand bath, which was probably the most frustrating part, uh, everything else is stuff we have used in her cage just to be organized. Uh, with the sand bath, we had to adjust the size um, because the top, the, the box is smaller. Um, so we'll be kind of fiddling with that a bit. Uh, but the rest of it I think turned out really nice. Um, the rock you see there is also a sand bath. Um, and then the bottom layer like before, uh, she can get to, there's a couple hides in there and a ceramic as well as some uh, bamboo sticks. And then over here we have uh, lots of coverage. So, you know, you kind of want to fill as much space as possible. And I think we did that more in this cage than we have in any other cage before. It's quite crowded. It's very crowded. Um, there's sprays, oat sprays and millet sprays. We have a wheezy, we have an apple stick. Um, then we have this, which I moved over further to the left than normal. Um, and then another wheel, and then plenty of bedding. Uh, you want to be at at least six inches across the whole thing, and we're at about eight in some places, six at the lowest. And then we have a water bowl and a water bottle, as we have had in the past. But there's lots of different texture in the different um, hides. Lots of different ways to tunnel. We, uh, I twisted this um, rock to give us more space in the tank, uh, but still provided with the corner. Freaking love this. Th this was like one of our my best purchases. She can uh, tunnel from both sides on the bottom, uh, and of course, there's the hole in the top. There's a ramp that she never uses, but I think it builds arm strength. <laughs> She's going to her favorite corner. And she's off. So this was a really stressful uh, cage cleaning. Um, but I think it turned out pretty nicely. Um, just a little bit of changing it up. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our content, click subscribe. Ding the bell button to know when we post, which is almost every day. Most importantly, uh, have a wonderful day. Bye!